Alameda County has just filed a lawsuit against a Livermore company accusing it of illegally selling flavored vapes to children. District Attorney Pamela Price announced a temporary restraining order against Apollo Future Technology to block the company from selling its products. Cron Forest Tiffany Justice tells us how this case started with kids bringing these alleged illegal products so they could smoke them at school. Yes, school officials say they're starting to see these vape pens in elementary school. And it was a concerned superintendent that first called this tip in to the Livermore Police Department that launched this investigation. This threat is is invasive and pervasive in our community and our schools. Livermore school officials from the DA's office to the school district gathering outside the chambers of commerce to talk about how e-cigarettes are impacting the community. Alameda County District Attorney Pamela Price at the press conference in Livermore Wednesday discussing a newly filed case against Apollo Future Technology, which does business as Apollo e -Cigs. They used a warehouse in Livermore as their base of operations to sell um, banned flavored tobacco products, predominantly vapes and vape juice, to individuals under the age of 21. Prosecutors accuse Apollo e of selling products through its website without verifying the shopper's age. Illegally shipped its flavored tobacco products through the mail without complying with state requirements and manufactured and sold thousands of synthetic cannabis products falsely claiming the products were legal and that it had less than 0.3% THC. Yep. 87 jars of almost 100% synthetic cannabis distillate were seized by the, the state the Department of Public Health during a search warrant and then converting that into products that, that we allege they fraudulently claimed were less than 0.3% THC when in fact they were often far higher. On for asking how this investigation got started, we've learned Livermore Police Department first got a tip from a superintendent who noticed a high amount of Apollo packaging on his campuses. Tracy Christmas with the Livermore Joint Unified School District says concern is growing from school officials because they're now starting to see elementary kids smoking e cigs We have seen the harm caused by these products to our students, to their mental and physical health and their academic performance and behavior. And Christmas says these devices are easily disguisable. They acquire multiple sets of it. They bring it to school. They give it to their friends. They sell it to their friends. They get disciplined. They're now missing school time. They get other students addicted to it. They're missing school time. We have students as young as fifth grade with these products in their hands using them at school. Reporting Tiffany Justice, Cron 4 News. The Alameda County DA's office has filed a temporary restraining order against the company to halt all sales, both in person and online. An injunction hearing has now been set for later this month on September 21st.